Hello, hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully well. Well, I am leaving the town that I'm working at right now and heading back. And uh, I got excited this morning. Um, there was a, a young lady who uh, posted uh, on my Facebook status about a, a, a progressive healing in her body. And while I was up in the uh, Kentucky area, and at a site that I was working at off-site, um, the young lady who had a hip issue going on with sciatic nerves shooting down her, uh, her right hip and everything, and I prayed. And you know what? Nothing major happened. Uh, to be honest with you, I really was kind of a little shocked that, that there wasn't um, at least minor improvement. You know, I, my faith is growing in the Lord as I step out and do what He's called me to do and that is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, of who he is in the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ, that he paid the debt on the cross for us, and as well as uh, praying for the sick. Uh, you know, it's not the healthy people that need to hear the gospel, Lord. It's the unhealthy. It's the one who don't know Jesus Christ and the souls to be saved. And so uh, I prayed it all. Nothing happened. And so I also recall a class of Randy Clark who talks about... Uh, the periods of time when you uh, deal with people, when you minister to them, does it shut you down? Does it make you stop wanting to pray for people? Uh, does it make you question why it hasn't happened yet? Uh, maybe there are some folks out there, I know some friends who follow me here on Facebook, who had prayed earnestly and sincerely and still haven't seen the, 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 the magnification or the results that they desire to have to pray for people. And so my encouragement to you is to keep on pressing in to keep on moving forward what God has for you in your life and, and don't never uh, forget his benefits for us uh, and blessing is a benefit and finances a blessing is a benefit and uh, and our health is benefit and our jobs are benefits and so I just say to you keep on pressing in and so I'm just reminded when uh, these things now happen I have a reference of base to go by and uh, his emphasis uh, Randy Clark was is what do you do when it happens and so you keep pressing in and he reminds me of a story he prayed for a young lady who was like 12 13 years old and he prayed first time in the meeting second time in the meeting third time fourth time fifth time six time say and it never happened and he had to go back home and to live with that memory for the rest of his life and so uh, he just had to give to God that sometimes it doesn't happen but there's two things you have to remember this it's always God's will to heal and sometimes it doesn't happen so I'm just so happy happy for Sabrina that God is uh, moving upon her life that she's seen improvement in her hip uh, I have reached out to her again to see if we can uh, connect and pray over the phone for her divine healing for God will restore the hip and her uh, side and sciatic nerve going and so that excites me folks and so um, you know, it's one of those things that happens. Sometimes we've got to pray one, two, three, four times until it happens. So I just say, keep lifting me up, keep me in your prayers, and I'm just going to move forward. Let this, um, let this little video be an encouragement to you. If you haven't seen it, still keep on pressing out. He's still good today. We just talk to you later. Bye.